Hey, thanks for checking out Nuts and Bolts with Tone. Today, we're gonna talk about tool cart. I'm gonna show you my tool cart. I'm gonna show you how I have it set up, how I have it organized, uh, what brand it is, what style. And also, I'm gonna talk about um, a lot of the tools in there that I have and some of the, the awesome tools that I have, the ones that I really recommend you getting. Um, first, I'll talk about the evolution of the tool cart. First, I started out with a little one by two uh, top and bottom uh, cart from Harbor Freight, just a little red one. And I had that for a little bit. And then I, then I moved up to like a, it was like a two foot by three foot um, cart, cart from Harbor Freight, just a top and bottom. I used that for a while. Then I actually took that cart and I added a whole bunch of metal to it, made a side tray, made a drawer in it, upgraded the casters. I used that for a long time. Um, then I was like, eh, you know, maybe I should upgrade to an actual real cart. Uh, plus that one was too deep. Um, it was hard to fit around places. I had a really hard time moving. Um, but I've always kept the cart because I always work all over the place. And so I'm constantly moving. So I need to have my tools with me, uh, the ones I use most of the time. So without, without any further ado, let's get into my current cart and I will show you all the awesomeness. Here we go. All right, so this is a SunX Tools cart. We'll start off here at the top. These badass SunX Tools stickers. Those do not come with the cart. Those came because I had an issue with one of these struts. It's something else. I don't recall what it was. And uh, anyways, I had to send it. Uh, SunX sent me um, a replacement for the two things that I had. And uh, they sent it pretty quick and they sent me these stickers because I sent them a picture of my cart showing the issue and they saw my side tray and they saw how I had it set up and they were they they told me they really thought my cart was cool and how I utilized it and how I upgraded it and so they sent me some pretty cool stickers maybe they were just you know blowing smoke um, to make me uh, impressed with their company but anyways okay so we'll start off with the back just the top um, I sweat a lot I wear a head headlight I wear a, a stream light um, headlamp all the time so I have this uh, cool little uh, headband I use the headband when I have to lay under a car and use my headlamp um, got the pedal depressor got the uh, earplugs and just a little fancy hook where I hang my my headlamp uh, got a couple snap-on lights so got this guy right here this is pretty cool it's not the greatest light but it works um, and then this this goes this snap-on light right here got a nice little tip to it and then this goes with the batteries that go with all of the goodies in the first drawer uh, the whole set of expensive snap-on stuff so we'll start off uh, just on this little cart right here this little side um, so this was this was what I had on my old cart my old Harbor Freight cart uh, except for it was deeper it was the same width so what is this thing like uh, about 10 and a half inches um, wide and about 20 inches deep because that's how how deep my cart is um, so I, I built this little tray here uh, thankfully I work in a shop where I don't have to lock my tools up um, otherwise I wouldn't have this little card have to throw everything inside but this makes it really convenient to just reach over and grab stuff uh, being a flat rate tech or well not flat rate in California but but still kind of flat rate um, you got to have you got to have your stuff organized uh, for efficiency. So this got the little pry bar set, little itty bitty baby, all the way up to the big daddy. Uh, so got the pry bars on there. Um, got the lady's foot. Use this all the time. This is good for popping uh, seals out of valve covers, the spark plug tube seals, and uh, I sharpen that up and and make a nice divot and things when I got to hit it hard. Um, just got the extensions. We'll just roll right in to got the, the three half inch extensions. Was that like 18 inches? Beep. Yep, about 18 inches. And then uh, we just roll right to the three eighths. We got the itty bitty all the way up to 18 inches. So there's a socket, got the, got the extensions, and then uh, same thing with the quarter inch. Rolling up to the quarter inch, same thing. I think that my longest one is about the same there. Uh, that three eighths was about two feet. Um, and then, uh, 
And then probably the most used socket on my cart right here is my little baby quarter inch. Um, I use this sucker all the time. Um, got a little longer one for a little bit of leverage. And then for the time that you just can't reach it, got that snap on flex head quarter drive. Uh, and then uh, we can go here. Got just a nice, uh, about a 14 inch, um, half inch fixed head snap on ratchet. Uh, now this guy right here is a must have. This is about, uh, about eight inches long. It is a flex head half inch ratchet right here. This is a must have. I strongly recommend if you don't have one, you get one of these. This thing has so much leverage uh, and it's a flex head, so it just gets into everything. Um, got the uh, the long 3-8 wobble head uh, ratchet. This is not a locking. Um, you don't really need a locking when you're going that long. Um, so got those. Uh, they take up too much space uh, when they're laying down. Uh, then we'll just roll into the, what is that, about a about an 18 inch, uh, half inch locking flex head ratchet. And then this one's about two feet locking flex head Matco ratchet. This was one of the original ratchets a long time ago before they started coming out with all the 80 tooth and, and I think Matco's is 88 tooth. Um, so this was just a normal, I don't remember what the teeth was, but it was a lot less, 60 teeth or something like that. And uh, they converted it to an 88 tooth. So it's okay. Um, I think I prefer the snap-on 80 tooth uh, to, the, to the Matco 88 tooth. The snap-on stuff just seems a lot smoother. Um, we got all kinds of ratchets here. Now I've had these ratchets since I started. I went to Wyotech and, and, Mat and Matco had better deals when you ordered with, uh, with Matco from the school. Um, so you just got those, those are three eights, got the spark plug ratchet snap on. Since I'm not in school anymore, most of the stuff I buy is, is snap on, um, seem to have more consistent snap on drivers. Now these two ratchets right here are probably the best ratchets I've ever owned. Um, this, this blue one here was pretty expensive because of the color. They are, they're just snap on, they're. You know, one's longer than the other. It just has a ton of leverage with this handle. Um, flex head, non-locking, and then just a solid 3 8 snap-on. So that's the ratchets. All right, so then we just roll on over here. Just got some eclectic screwdrivers. Got a nice little Lowe's, long half-inch screwdriver. You don't doesn't need to be super quality. You don't you're not really using it where it really matters. Um, this, these are just the random, the random out of uh, not in a in a set screwdrivers. Uh, and then we have the sets here. So we have the half inch, little half inch. It's like I don't know 12 inches long. And then just roll right along to, you know, I think there's four in these sets. This one's like probably about two feet long. And then the Phillips are the same. So those are the Phillips there. Obviously I use the Phillips less, so they're in the back hiding. Um, then right on top, let's talk about these guys. Now these are the best pliers. These are just regular straight up pliers. These are awesome. These are snap on. I'm trying to give you a focus for a part number there. Yeah, anyways, uh, so this is these are about uh, 10 inches long or so. Um, used them all the time. I wanted a bigger set. So then he had these. Now these are these are two sets of pliers that obviously I use all the time. They sit on top of my on top of my sockets. So that tells you how much I use them um, all the all the time. Okay, so this is most of the sockets I own. Um, I have a I have another socket drawer in my toolbox, but for the most part, this is what I have right here. So now these guys right here. These, you ever have that balancer that just won't break loose? Um, and they sell, Honda sells a tool, and Toyota sells a tool to hold the balancer. You got a chain tool to hold it. Uh, but if you just want a little extra oomph, you get these guys right here. Uh, this, guy, this guy's a three quarter. So we're gonna use this on the Hondas. Um, we'll 
the size as this one. And this is a 22 millimeter, so you're gonna use this on the Toyotas. Um, it's three quarter drive, that's the only bad thing. So if you have a three quarter gun, it'll be awesome. But what I do is I just have a, uh, I just have a, a half to three quarter adapter. Um, that works, that will take off most Honda and Toyota balancers. Um, even if you have that super gun and you have that balancer that's just stuck, that won't come break, break loose. Um, those generally will get them off. You just have to have a little patience. Uh, and then we just kind of roll through, you know, just kind of keep it the same. Got the 3H drive, uh, deep sockets, quarter in and standard. Um, got the whole rail of, of uh, half inch impacts. What is this one? A 12. So we'll take a 12 all the way up to 36. So about that set from Matco. Um, so that goes all across there. You got the standard. You know, what is that like? Seven sixteenths, half inch, all the way up to one inch. Um, I have the bigger ones in my box. I don't use those that often. Obviously, it's standard. Um, then when you got these, are a must. Now these are these are a cool brand. So this is Sun X. Um, so these are twenty four. This is a twenty four millimeter Sun X Tools uh, uh, impact wobble, half inch. So this set starts off at. Well, I never used this one. This set starts off at 12 millimeter and it goes all the way up. So Sun X Tools is really good. Every time I have a socket that, that defected, I just message them. They, I just have to send them a picture of the socket, um, the part number, and they, then they mail me a new one. I don't have to mail them anything. Uh, I don't have to send the socket in. Um, I have like probably four different 17 millimeter uh, 3 8 wobbles that have broken. And I just have to keep getting new ones because I use that for brakes all the time. So then obviously we have the 3 eighths is the same. This is not focusing. Uh, so that's a 19. So we got 10 to 19 on the Sun X. Um, and then obviously we got the, the, the female Torx, reverse Torx, whatever they're called, not real sure. Um, and, then, and then funny story about the Torx is when I first started in this industry, the Matco driver at the time, he obviously didn't know anything about tools either because he sold me these this set of of Torx Plus sockets. So for the longest time, all I had was Torx Plus. I didn't even have a Torx set because I didn't know there was a difference. Um, so then eventually I had to upgrade and buy, uh, actually it might've been, that was a snap-on driver. Yeah, he didn't know what he was talking about. But anyway, so then I had to get the snap-on um, Torx. And then uh, to go with the Sun X, uh, I got the 3 8 long, deep, uh, deep wobbles. Now those are awesome. You don't use them all the time, but when you need them, you need them and I have them. So then you just kind of roll over here and you got just the regular, you know, quarter inch sockets. A little Schrader valve tool. Use that a lot in the summertime. Um, got the hex heads, got the random quarter drive, got some quarter drive medium length sockets. Uh, you need those quite a bit. And, uh, and then this is just a whole bunch of random O2 sensor sockets, oil pressure sockets, spark plug sockets. Um, this funky little guy right here, I don't use this very often. It's snap-on. It's a little 3 8 It's got a 3 8 drive, and it's also got a 3 8 drive that way. So it's, I've had a couple times where I had to come in from the top, and this was underneath, ratcheting like that. So that is definitely a, a really cool tool. Um, and then obviously you got the big Torx. For the Subaru drain plugs, yeah, you got to have that one. Seventy torque, seventy. Uh, so, a couple screwdrivers, big giant breaker bar. This one goes all the way down the whole cart. Uh, so then we'll just go right into the drawers. So we're gonna go into the drawers, and uh, you got you got the nice uh, gear wrench set, eight to twenty four. Uh, you got all these guys right here, all this snap-on stuff. Um, snap-on uh, half-inch cordless ratchet or gun, little quarter drive. Uh, well, that's a 3H three, three drive impact gun. Um, quarter drive gun, got the long 3H ratchet, uh, then the regular 3H ratchet. And then obviously the long quarter-inch cordless ratchet. Now this was my first one right here, the regular quarter-inch. And then you can see that the long neck is much longer. So this guy right here, he's all by himself. I can't remember the last time I used him. I probably should just take him home. 
Uh, and then these guys right here, so work on quite a bit of turbos and you got those, uh, the CAC tubes, you got the, the Marmon clamps, I think they're called. So they sell a sock, a set of these sockets. Um, this is obviously the one you use the most, the six liters, the Duramaxes, um, got a couple smaller ones, but it's a little four set of sockets for the turbo, turbo clamps. Make it easy. Come to this drawer. Now this drawer has, is kind of eclectic, has a whole bunch of random stuff, um, but a lot of goodies in here. A lot of goodies. So you got these from Snap-on. These pliers right here are fantastic for inner tie rods. Sprinters. Uh, those work really good for sprinters. Um, got this tool right here. This is really cool for breaking oil pans loose. Uh, just some uh, vice grips, connector disconnects. Got the brake, the brake spring. Uh, release tool got some tools for catching clips and pulling clips some 90 degree strippers uh, now I just saw I just saw a thing about these not that long ago so this is vampire tools why won't this thing focus vampire tools and now these these uh, I just saw if uh, this guy shared this on Instagram and uh, I, I told him, I said, oh my God, I have these pliers and these are the best pliers ever. Uh, these are going to premiere at, at SEMA this year, I guess, virtual SEMA. But anyways, so these pliers, they have threads that go sideways. So if you ever have a, a screw head that has rounded off, these are the pliers that you need. These pliers are awesome. Strongly recommend you get some of those. I'll put a link in the description for those pliers. Um, I bought this a long time ago, back when I first started, heater hose pliers. This swivels, so they're really, it's really good at breaking them loose. Uh, you kind of come through, have a bunch of hose clamp pliers. Um, this is my multi-tool, my multi-pliers. I have a video on this. I'll put a link in the description for these. I actually use these all the time. This is one of my tools that I use almost every day. I use these for body clips. I use them for just about everything. You got this little clip popper. And then obviously you got the long one. And then just some long picks, short picks. This is supposed to be for radiator hoses so it doesn't cut them. I don't think I've ever used that. Uh, just all kinds of random picks. You use all this stuff. Sometimes you get those those vehicles that are really difficult and you have to go through a lot of this stuff before you can figure out what works. Just a little pick. I have a little four set of these picks. I think this is like cobalt. Um, use this little guy all the time. That's why he's not with his friends. Um, the other ones are in the, with the set. Uh, this drawer is kind of cool. So this drawer is just all of my other ratchets that I have. So this, this ratchet right here, Actually, when you turn the handle, when you turn the handle, it actually turns the, the head that connects to the socket. So you can actually have it this way and be turning the handle and then turning the socket. Uh, just a whole bunch of other quarter drive, little 3-8 stubby flex head, just some more... Just some more ratchets. I have a lot of ratchets. You never know when you're going to need them. I just picked this up at, I think, O'Reilly. Just some tamper-proof Torx, and they're magnetic. So they're a little bit longer. These are actually perfect. I actually use these a few times lately. Uh, this guy is, is something that you need right here. I recommend, strongly recommend this thing here. This little snap-on ratchet here. Uh, you take this guy here, and it's got this piece that fits inside. And then you can put a screwdriver bit in there. And it's magnetic, so it holds them. Or you have a whole bunch of sockets. So that's a 13 millimeter, and that thing is tiny. So anyways, uh, I strongly recommend that. And then uh, upgrade to the bit set, because these are little tiny bits. Little, little tiny bits. These are really good for like sprinter fan clutches. Um, come through, got the serpentine belt tool. Got this set of wrenches. These are really weird. There, it's, it's, they say that these cover just about every angle between each wrench. Uh, the only bad thing about this set was it didn't come with very many. It only came with like a 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 17. These are really good for injector 
uh, clamp injector tubes for diesels. Really, really good for that. Uh, I got the inspection mirrors, use these all the time, and then uh, locking ratchets. Got the quarter drive set, got the 3 8 set, don't use that hardly ever. Actually, I've never used it, but I have it, um, just in case I ever need it. Uh, just got the air guns that I use. This guy right here, this thing moves a lot of air. Uh, that's all that's in that drawer. Let's roll onto this drawer. Got the Mac Tools. 33 piece set. It's got a whole bunch of different bits and torques. Torques and Phillips and half inch, I mean, uh, and flat. Uh, just Harbor Freight Hammers. <laughs> I've had this set for 15 years. I bought that set when I first started. Uh, the other couple are at home. Got a couple hood props. Um, dead blow hammers. Uh, now this is just the eclectic set of pliers. You got all the, all the channel locks. You got uh, these guys right here. This is like all these 410s, I think. This is really good. A long time ago, I had to use this, and it was the only thing I could do to get an O2 sensor disconnected just because of the, the size and the location, and this grabbed onto it. It's kind of like a pipe wrench in a way. The way it grabs, it uses the leverage. I just had to have this warranty. Um, it's got brand new teeth because it's brand new. Anyways, I think they're called 410s. It's really good pliers. I recommend, strongly recommend those. What are these, Nipex? Yeah, I got these Nipex uh, pliers. They, these are really good because you can... You can get a nice little uh, little grab on things. It's got a, a pin here that locks it in to a certain size. Uh, really good pliers there. Now, these are a random set of pliers right here. This goes along with my multi-tool plier. I actually put a speaker box in my, in my son's friend's car this weekend, and I forgot my multi-tool plier, but I brought these. This actually worked really well for getting body clips out from underneath the hood. Uh, these are Matco. Um, I bought them because they looked weird, and man, they work great. Uh, just got a bunch of cutters, just angled pliers, a whole bunch of different configurations of, of long-handled needle-nose pliers, because sometimes you have those heater hoses that just take forever, and you end up with like seven or eight different pairs of pliers all over. Wire strippers, vice grips. Pretty much, that's all that's in that drawer. And then this drawer, is used to be all the good stuff. Don't use a lot of it anymore. Got the half inch impact, the snap on. Um, uh, that back in the day, that was their that was their big gun. Uh, got the backup. That was my very first half inch drive uh, impact right there, Matco. Um, got this guy here. Now this guy is a must. A lot of companies sell this. This is a monster. Um, I've had this for quite some time. This tool works great for breaking balancer bolts loose when you have the radiator in. It's a stubby impact. Uh, and then here's a little guy here. This is a little tiny air ratchet. This ratchet works so fantastic for timing belts. Um, I use, this is actually the only air ratchet that I use when I'm doing timing belts, I use this. Um, got these great wobble uh, connections. These are fantastic. I have these on all my air tools that I use quite often, or that I used to use. Um, and then the 3 8 gun. First 3 8 gun I ever owned, bought that back when I bought that. I um, use this all the time. Uh, got the air hammer, and then use this quite a bit. The die grinder, um, and then here's a socket of something that I bought because I thought maybe it would be coming out. A 18 and a half and 19 and a half flip socket. Believe it or not, lug nuts are starting to to be half sizes. So get you one of those. I think I bought this on Amazon, actually. Not even sure what brand. Yeah, 18 and a half and 19 and a half. So that's all we got in the bottom. And then just on the side, you got the gloves, WD-40, got the brake grease, and, uh, and the anti-seize. Got some uh, bungee cords here, and then this fantastic vacuum line here. You look at it, you're like, wow, what is that fuel line hanging on your cart? I've had this for 15 years for finding vacuum leaks and air leaks and um, listening for noises and pulleys. Got a bag of rags, and oh, <laughs> oh, two of the best things on here. 
So these are these long, long, long ratchets um, from Snap-on. So there's like two, four, six, seven, seven piece set here. These work great. Uh, 18 and 20, it goes up to. Uh, that's a really good set there. I just welded some hooks on there, hanged those on there. And, uh, and then these used to be Easy Reds. Actually, that one's still Easy, easy Red. Um, these were originally Easy Red wrenches. You got the flex head, non-locking, but it's got the part that sticks out so it makes it a little bit thicker so it goes inside pulleys in the dry belt system. Um, you just gotta be careful because it's only one direction because, and so you have to, you can get stuck. So this is eight and 10, it goes up to 17 and 19. Now it's mountain. I've had a couple of them warranted, so now they're mountain wrenches, but used to be easy red. Uh, those are, I strongly recommend those, re those wrenches there. Um, and I recommend this style. They make the other style that doesn't have this black part. Um, and it's just the silver, it's real thin, and you can, you have to flip them over. The only problem is they don't go down inside pulleys when you have idler pulleys and things like that. So that is the, the long wrenches. And then uh, on the back, we just have some magnetic trays. That's about it. So here's the cart. I have quite a bit on there. Makes it really, really efficient. Uh, so anyways, um, thanks for checking out Nuts and Bolts with Tone. Hope you like my tool cart. Uh, check me out on Instagram, Nuts and Bolts with Tone. Hit the subscribe button. And if you hit the bell, you'll be notified anytime I upload a video, which I'll be trying to do that two or three times a week. Have a good day. We'll see you next time.